everybody this is digital blackboard by sachin p nagmute in this video we are going to discuss the topics faraday's experiment and faraday's law of electromagnetic induction now the biggest question in our mind is that how we get the electricity because electricity is not naturally available it has to be generated and it has to be generated by using law of electromagnetic induction and the man behind this law is mr michael faraday and hence this law is called as faraday's law of electromagnetic induction now before jumping on to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction let us discuss about faraday's experiment now faraday has performed an experiment by using these three things that is galvanometer one coil or a conductor and one magnet now faraday has played with these three things and he performed an experiment and then that experiment led to the conclusion now what exactly faraday has done so faraday has connected that coil to the galvanometer now this galvanometer is having central tap needle now this needle will get deflected only when there is flow of current in this coil then faraday has taken the magnet the magnet is having magnetic lines of force that is magnetic flux now see what happened so first of all faraday has moved that magnet near to the conductor and see what he observe so when faraday has moved that magnet near to the conductor there is deflection in the needle it means as there is deflection in the needle the current is getting induced in this coil then in the next step faraday has moved that magnet away from the conductor the result is same the needle is getting deflected but the needle is getting deflected in the opposite direction so from these two steps it is clear that when faraday has moved that magnet near to the conductor the needle is getting deflected but when the movement stop the needle come to zero and when he moved that magnet away from the conductor again the needle is deflected but when the movement stop the needle is coming to the zero it means to have the continuous movement or deflection in the needle there should be continuous movement of the magnet so what exactly happening so when this magnet is moved near to the conductor or moved away from the conductor the flux linking with that conductor or the flux linking with that coil is changing with respect to time so the, when the flux is linking with the coil is changing with respect to time there is induced current in the coil and that's why there is deflection in the needle and the direction of that induced current is also changing with respect to time after certain time interval so from that faraday has concluded that to move the magnet continuously he required the mechanical energy so after giving the mechanical energy after moving moving the magnet the output is electrical energy it means mechanical energy can be converted into electrical energy and hence faraday has concluded and he made one statement and that statement is called as faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so according to this statement whenever flux linking with the conductor changes emf or voltage get induced in that conductor and the magnitude of this induced emf is directly proportional to rate of change of flux with respect to time so to have the induced emf or induced current in the coil there must be rate of change of flux with respect to time so from this it is clear that mechanical energy is getting converted into electrical energy so we can have the electricity so electricity is getting generated by using this law which is the thing but the conclusion of faraday's experiment so we go anywhere in the world the electricity is getting generated just by using the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and from this experiment and from this law it is clear that the direction of induced emf or induced current is changing with after certain time interval so anywhere in the world you go you will find the generation of electricity is just because of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so in this video we discuss about faraday's experiment and faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so i hope you understood this topic very well so please like share and subscribe digital blackboard thank you very much